And then we became really good friends. And when we would hang out, I would tell him, I said, Ringo, you know, you, you changed uh, everything for a lot Absolutely. of people. Absolutely. Because he seemed too overly humble, yeah. uh, like not humble, but like almost beyond humble, like where he, he wasn't aware uh, of it. Yeah, uh, yeah, totally unaware yeah, yeah, that yeah. he had done anything. Yeah. That's how, that's how, that's what it must have been like to have, to be the drummer with the Beatles. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're so underneath everything, you're not. And so I, I told him, and, and I told him all the time, uh, I said, man, you changed everything. You, and I gave him examples of what he did. He, this thing that he played was the first time anybody ever played that on a record that I know of. And uh, stuff like that. And I said, you know, uh, uh, for me, who is, I'm making records at that time, and uh, and people like Russ Conkle and, yeah. and other guys and Jimmy and all of everybody making records in those days. They all wanted to sound like Ringo, but yeah, Ringo, Ringo and Charlie, you know Charlie Watts, yeah, yeah, uh, two of the guys with the biggest bands in the world, right? <laughs> but but two guys who 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 play like nobody else in the world. And you can't really describe their playing. And I'll tell you another thing: you, no matter how good you are, you're never going to sound like them. 